Not one. Not two. Not three. Not four. Not five. Not even six. But seven looks. Frenchie starring in Seven Days, Seven Looks. Featuring a Revlon Color Stay Foundation. A MyFace Cosmetic Pink Blush. An amazing highlighter from Maybelline. And a bunch of other stuff. For this timeless, elegant look, we're going to use a Wet n Wild Silent Treatment Palette. First, apply this taupe shape in the middle of your lid. This shade is supposed to be a dupe for MAC Satin Taupe. Place the darker shade in your crease area and blend in circular motion. Then use a clean, fluffy blending brush to soften the edges. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Use the darker shade of the palette as a liner. Use an angle brush to help you create a softer line. Do the same thing on the bottom lash line. Use a highlighter shade of the palette on your brow bone area, on the inner corner of your eyes, and on the middle of your eyelid. Apply your favorite mascara, top and bottom. For my lips, I'm using a neutral pinky brown lipstick. For the palette that I'm gonna use, you're gonna need a primer. Then we're going to use a lighter shade of the palette and apply it all over the lid. Place this beautiful dark green on the outer corner of your eyes, creating a straight line from the crease to the lash line, just like this. Then with a clean brush, blend any harsh lines. Apply this basic taupe shade to the crease area to define your eyes very softly. It's time for a pop of color and here I'm using a forest green eyeliner. I apply mascara only on the top lashes to balance out the look as the lips are going to be quite strong. Align my lips with the plum lip liner. On camera, the lipstick I'm using looks quite red, but in real life, it's more of a rich raspberry color. Apply this teal shade to the middle of your eyelid. Then place this deep plum eyeshadow in the outer corner of your eyes. Work in circular motion to blend everything together. You also want to make sure that the teal color placed in the middle of your lid stays visible. Blend any harsh line with a clean blending brush. Use this bronzy shade in the inner corner of your eyes. Use a warm copper eyeliner in your inner rim.
Go back to your bronzy shade to blend out your eyeliner. Use a matte black eyeshadow and line your upper lash line. Blend well and use your favorite mascara, top and bottom. Here I'm using a nude mauve pink lipstick. Using my favorite eye palette, I'm using the cream shadow all over my lid. If you pay attention, I don't go past my crease to avoid too much creasing during the day. Here I mix the two shades of brown together to fill up my brows. When I wear this look for work, I like to look polished and groomed. Filling up my eyebrows so neatly helped to achieve just that. Using the lighter shade of brown, I'm going to define my crease. I stay away from the cream shadow as you can see. To keep the look effortless, I apply mascara only on my top lashes. A highlighter is very important for this look, to create a healthy glow. So I'm using it on the high points of my face. Apply your favorite bright pink lip gloss, very neatly to keep the look professional. Apply this gold eyeshadow all over the lid. Place this dark brown shade on the outer corner of your eyes. Blend well with a fluffy brush. Place this bronze eyeshadow in your crease area. Line your upper lash line with a black eyeliner. Go only halfway. And for a pop of color, use a turquoise eyeliner on your bottom lash line. To soften the blue a little bit, use a tiny blending brush. Apply your favorite mascara, top and bottom. Here I'm using my bronzer when the sun will naturally hit my cheeks, my chin and my forehead. Here I'm using my favorite coral lip gloss and I'm ready to go. First, prime your lid to prevent your eyeshadow from creasing. Use the lighter shade of the palette and apply it all over the lid. Place the taupey shade in your crease area to define your eyes very softly. your favorite liquid liner. Here I'm using a dark brown liner just to keep the look quite soft for daytime. I'm using two 
mascaras for super full lashes. To create the perfect red lip, I'm using concealer all around my lips. As you can see, I don't put any of it on my lips, so I don't change the color of the lipstick. This red is soft and summery with a hint of pink, which make it perfect for daytime. I'm using a brush for more precision. I don't want to use a lip liner to keep it quite casual. very soft so to give definition to my face I'm using a matte bronzer and I contour my cheekbones I also apply this bronzer on the contours of my face and down my neck eyeshadow pencil as a liner. Trace a line along your lash line and just wing it out. Trace a line along your lower lash line as well and don't forget to connect it with the top one. Apply a black gel liner in your inner rim and don't do this weird face or maybe do this weird face but maybe don't film it and then put it on YouTube <gasps> don't forget to tight line oh so scary Apply this dark plum eyeshadow on top of your liner. Do the same thing on your bottom lash line and blend your gel liner as well. Use this brown shade on your crease area. Winged it out a little bit. Using the lighter shade of the palette, I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone area. As well as the center of my lid. To finish up the look and for a dramatic effect, I'm using my favorite pair of false lashes. Apply your favorite mascara, top and bottom. To refresh my skin, I'm using my favorite powder foundation and a little bit of cream highlighter. On my lips, I'm using a nude lipstick to finish up the look. Whew, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you, bye!